YouTube and um, give you the link. So I think that's recording now. So I now get back to my. Uh, right. Bear with me. I think I'm recording. Oh, hello, man. <laughs> well, I've lost. I'm just trying to get where my. Um, yeah, good. Right, so I think I'm recording. If Yes, I am recording. I've got the red bit around the outside. So can you all see that integration screen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So um, if you've got your, I don't mind if you're following it in the textbook or you're following it on screen or whatever, but we're just going to really, I think, for the few days before Easter, um, it's just this first bit we're going to look at, this first dot. So we're just going to be doing 11A and 11B. Can just someone say yes? So I'll just check you, you, you can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yep. So, um, so the first thing I want you to go to is this page, 11.1. Cool. Wow. Yeah, don't get sight tag. Don't get sight tag. So the, uh, the four at the bottom, six, seven, eight, and nine, are all effectively given because if you go and look on the right hand side that is a snapshot of what is in the tables for differentiation so obviously going right to left that's just going to be the integration so just take for example number six the integral of set squared x dx is tan x well if you couldn't remember that you just go and look in your in the um formula booklet and you'd see that the differential of tan kx is k set uh, kx squared, set, set, set squared kx. So six, seven, eight and nine don't have to be learned. You've just got to be aware that you've got the opportunity to go and look, just look them up. So you only really then need to just double check you're OK with one to five. And hopefully you're, you'll remember <coughs> from when we've done integration before, or of course, they're the opposite of differentiation. So obviously, when we just integrate x to the power of n, we add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and we add a constant. So you should be familiar with that. Whenever you integrate or differentiate e to the x, you get the same. But obviously, when we're integrating, don't forget the plus c. And remember, the differential of ln x is 1 over x. So going the other way, when you uh, integrate 1 over x, you get ln x plus c, but the modulus version, so just the numerical value of it. So if it was ln um, minus 3 in a bracket, it would just be 3. And then 4 and 5 again, hopefully you remember these from the differential work. When you differentiate, you get cos. So therefore, when we integrate cos, we get sin x plus c. And similarly, when you uh, differentiate cos, the sign switches. So if you differentiate cos, you would get minus sin. So if you differentiate minus cos, you would get plus sin. So going the other way, when you integrate sin, you get minus cos. So hopefully one to five aren't scary. You're sort of familiar with those. And then six, seven, eight, and nine are just the opposites of things we um, that are in the tables for differentiation. So. Um, that then leads us in to a couple of examples. And um, I would then like you to work through uh, exercise 11a, please. Uh, you'll see that I'm afraid I haven't actually physically done these in my fair hand. These are all um, just done. You know, I've just snapshotted the answers. So if there are any of these that you're not clear on, just uh, get in touch with me via Teams or by an email and I will get back to you with a video just going over it more clearly. So I want you to work through exercise 11a. It will take you a while, so um, you know, don't panic. And then we're then going to do 11.2 as well. And this is just the opposite of the chain rule. So um, can you just look at the bit that I've gone and circled here? Just to remind you, when you go and integrate, uh, sorry, differentiate, y equals sin 2x plus 3. The process is you differentiate, uh, you differentiate, so the sin becomes cos, so it's cos 2x plus 3, but you remember you then multiply by the differential 
brackets. So that's the chain rule. So um, if you if you can't remember that, if you're not familiar with that, you'll need to just go back and look at that again in the differentiation chapter. There's no point doing this until you're comfortable with the chain rule. But if you are, then obviously this is just the other way around. When we differentiate, we multiply by the differential of the brackets. So we were multiplying by two. So when you integrate, you've got to do the opposite. So you're dividing by two, or if you like, you're multiplying by a half. OK, so if you're integrating the cos of 2x plus 3, cos becomes sin. The 2x plus 3 state stays the same. And the, the differential of the bracket is 2. So you multiply by the reciprocal of 2, which is a half. And then don't forget to add the c. So yeah, go on. I thought that if you um, different, so if you integrated a dy dx, it would give you back to d just y. Yeah. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. But if you've if they've just integrated the dy dx, it's not being this. It's not the same as the y. It is. It is because cos becomes sin, and then no. hang on, just bear with me. And then you, you'd um, you as you integrate, you'd see that the differential of the bracket is two. So you take the reciprocal of that, which is a half. So you'd be multiplying it by a half, and then the half mm -hmm. times two just gives you one. So when you integrate that, you do indeed get back to that because the integral process, say that times two wasn't there, Dom. When we yep. integrated, we would say cos becomes sin. Yeah. Happy with that because differential of sin is cos. Yeah. And uh, the differential of the bracket is 2x plus 3. So if we were differentiating, we would multiply by t but we're actually going to divide by two, or in other words, multiply by a half. So we pop a half in front, and then the half times the two is one, so that's why it's one lot of sin 2x plus three. Oh, okay, that makes sense. My apologies. Yeah, that's right, that's fine. And again, just part B, just again, you've got your differentiation hat on to start with. Okay, if you were differentiating e to the power of 4x plus one, as you differentiate, you would multiply by the differential of the power, so times them by four. So when you integrate, it's just the opposite. So you're not times them by four, you're dividing by four. Or in other words, multiplying by a quarter, and then don't forget the plus C bit. And then C, well, that's just when we've got to start using our trig knowledge, which is on the side here. So um, that one here, for example, you can see I've got the little yellow tag there. We're, we're using this fact here. That when we uh, diff, uh, uh, oh sorry, uh, this is separate. I I haven't mentioned. Yes, I have. What am I talking about? So yeah, so this this here, uh, this is just a snapshot that we had on that previous slide. So obviously these up here at the top, you're not given in the that's the, our knowledge. This is the bit that you're given. The differential bit's the given bit. So for this part C, if you couldn't remember um, how to do how to integrate. So next, we just go and have a look at the differential bit, and you can see, okay, there we go. I can see how to uh, uh, integrate sex squared because the differential of tan is sex squared, therefore the integral of sex squared is tan. So um, that, I think, is pretty much it. That's, um, again, yeah, let's, just, let's have a quick look at example four. So, yeah, so here we go. Here, here it is. Um, this in general terms. So this is just what I was saying. So if you were differentiating, you know you go multiply by a because you take the differential of the bracket. But because we're integrating, we're going to be multiplying by the reciprocal of a. Okay. So um, so again, just carefully work through these examples. I, this takes quite a bit of getting your mind around. So I would copy all of these examples out if I were you. I wouldn't just launch straight into the uh, the exercise. OK, so I would copy out the examples and um, and then we're away. So then it's 11B. So same thing, please. Please, can you just try and work through all of these? Um, and that's going to give you plenty, you know, loads to be doing this week. But, um, and I, you know, it doesn't, we, we, in a way, I feel the time pressure's off a little bit because you're obviously not going to be taking the exam. So what you guys need to be doing is just thinking it's a no lose situation, really. OK, you've already got lots of evidence in the bank and any 
Any positive evidence you can give us with good test results can only enhance your grade. If you suddenly put in a stinker of a test, you've got to trust us that will absolutely get ignored. OK, so I, it's, it's important that you really get to grips with this. And um, I mean, I, I think you should take a break over Easter. I really don't think you should be doing anything over Easter. But then um, I mean, obviously it would be great if you managed to get these two chapters done before Easter. Uh, and obviously, if you want to get it done over Easter, I, I can't stop you. But I'm not going to be like telling you off if you haven't got this all done first day back after Easter. OK, because I think, you know, this is going to take us a few weeks. And if you could, um, the way this chapter works, guys, it breaks down to being two uh, unit tests, which in a way is quite nice. So halfway through the chapter, we can pause and you can take the first integration unit test and then the second. And I think because this is such a big part of the, um, you know, this is the really difficult topic in the A level. If you can come in with a couple of really good um, unit test results there, you know, that would be fab for really building up really strong evidence. So, so take your time. Um, I'm totally happy. Any of these you're not clear on, um, get back to me. Um, but just work your way through. So, and uh, yeah, and then don't do that. We're not doing 11.3. We'll start doing the trigger identities after the holiday. So, any queries, guys? Um, what point does it separate for the topic tests? Uh, really good point. I I can't remember off the top of my head, Dom. And unfortunately, because I had to go home in quite a hurry because I was theoretically on the um, sort of, you know, the need to be looked after list thingy, I didn't get my textbooks home. So I haven't, I haven't got it, but certainly we would have sat down at the beginning and hopefully one of you's got it annotated in your book where this chapter breaks between unit one, between the two units. I, I haven't got it. So, um, uh, Perhaps you could just, if some of you can see that now, you could say now, or perhaps you could just, um, you know, let, let Don know that you can see it. So I can't remember. I'm not sure if we were told when, where it split. Yeah, I just had written down unit 10 and 11 rather than oh, having. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I can 11. I, I will have to get back to you on that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, I don't want to make this video too long, otherwise it's going to take a billion years to upload. So um, <laughs> I'm, still be, I'm still going to be here for the rest of the hour, and even when the hour, you know, any time, just send through a, a Teams message and I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you for your time, sir. No worries. No worries. Okay, cheers, guys. Cheers. Ta -da. Ta -da.